Is this Charlie Mobley? This is him. Who am I speaking with? With Tico. Oh, this is Levi Jonathan with uh, Avenue I, Northwest 668. Okay. Yes, sir. I, I hadn't noticed that you had been trying to get a hold of me. Yes, sir. Yeah, we're just trying to read that meter on your property there. All right, well, I'll just be trying able... to gain We were just trying to gain access to read it, you know, every month, and we're just having a hard time. Well, I'll be around for the next hour if you're able to come. Well, unfortunately, it's already closed and billed and all that good stuff. Because we only get a little certain window to read it, and unfortunately can't. And I was there the other day in person. And then, uh, I don't know if it was you or a gentleman got in his car. And, uh, cause, yeah, we were there to read it. We went there twice, one in the morning, one in the evening, and the guy was there, and we were walking up, and got in his car and drove off. Hmm. But yeah, we're, we're just trying to uh, get access. And That's so all we want to do, man, just read the meter. You were able to That's bill it. the meter already? What's that? Were you able to already bill the customer? It, it got estimated. That's really about all I can say, because your name actually isn't on the account. So, it, it, the estimation would be acceptable. What's that? Uh, the the estimation uh, would be acceptable for processing. I don't understand what you're saying, sir. Well, you said that you had billed the customer based on the estimate estimation of the reading. Yeah, it got estimated. We didn't get an actual read on it. It's not acceptable. We need to actually get in there and read it. I mean, it's just it's affecting the customer. They're not getting a true billing. You know, it could be high, it could be low. We just want to get access to the property. Well, if the customer is uh, willing to agree to uh, have an estimation, then what would be the problem? Because it won't be right, and we're supposed to get a read every month. And when you get to opt out, you're supposed to get access or provide access. Yeah, because I got a couple of voicemails from this you know, same number here, and one said something about moving the service, and another talked about some hallway, and uh, some yes. about liability, all kind of stuff. Well, we're, we're, we're in the process of, of considering to, of putting in an access gate uh, corridor to uh, be able to get to the meter. So whose name's on that account? I know I got one voicemail from the same number and it said your name's not right. I'm just trying to figure out yes. what's going on. Name, and we'd like to just want correct. to read it. Everything is, is messed up. It's, it's a Canadian company. <laughs> yeah. Nah, we just, and then all we want to do is just read your meter. We don't, we got no problems. You know, we're not here to figure out what you're doing. We just want to read the meter and go on about our way. That's all we really want to do. So, and, um, for the next reading, uh, is there a scheduled date that we could mark it'll on be the 30, day, 30 days from the other day that notice was left. Right around there, it could be 29 days, you know, depending on weekends, and it could be from 29 to 34 days. You know, it's holidays, that's why I couldn't give you an exact date, because it all depends on how it falls. But it's about, it's around every 30 days is when we try to read it. Yes, and I think it would be reasonable if you could accommodate the customer by informing them of when you would be able to arrive. Would this be acceptable? Unfortunately, we can't do that. We have 800,000 customers. You have 800,000 customers, and all the customers uh, a do not Absolutely, have... we do. And all the customers have to be read, uh, access to the backyard every month? No, no, just the opt-out ones do. And how many of those? Have non I don't know exactly. Well, then my response But I just thought I can promise you, you that we're have... not calling... What's that? Go ahead. Well, you said that you, you had 800,000 customers, but they're not customers that you have to access their yards, so... Yeah, because they have the, uh, the transmitting meter, the AMI meter. Yes, so what would my recommendation would be to inform the customer prior to you arriving at their residence and that therefore there would be more of a chance that the customer would be available. Unfortunately, like I said, sir, we have so many customers, we just don't have the manpower or time to do that. I would love to tell you I could hit a button and they call you and say, hey, by the way, we're coming out. I would love that if we had something like that, but unfortunately we don't. 
Well, that, that leaves us uh, um, nowhere. Yeah, so um, we just want access to the mirror, and when, you know, people at the premise agreed to get that mirror that you currently own the house, they agreed that it allows access to read it every month, and that has not been the case yet. And if we continue not to have access, we will have to go down that route of, you know, where it gets cut out of the pole and turned off, and we don't want to go down that route again. So how would you gain access if the customer's not available? That's what we're trying to get fixed. Is that we have access to read it. That's why we're talking today. Well, the so, customer, I mean, I know, the I customer know doesn't, doesn't agree to access uh, the uh, uh, meter, uh, so there's 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 no solution. Uh, but the customer has um, informed you that uh, with accommod reasonable accommodations, that this may be able to be uh, this goal may be able to be met. Yeah, I mean, there's all it always can move your fence back and then have a little path right there to the meter, that'd be reasonable. That way you don't have to move the service or anything. There's all kinds of different accommodations that could be met. Including informing the customers uh, prior to you arriving. Yeah, so when you get, when the uh, person that's named on the account gets let their bill, whenever they get billed, it'll be about 30 days from that day. That is, that is it right there. It's about 30 days from the day of what? The bill, on the bill, the, the billing date. It'll be from 29 to 34 days from that day that it billed last. When, that's when the service technicians will be looking to access? That is correct. 29 to 34 days? Yes, sir. So, would you be able to come next month? I could surely try. I mean, I was there, like I said, I was there in the morning and the afternoon, and I was like there, someone was there. Absolutely. You, know, you want me to come there and re uh, try to read it? Myself and then maybe a technician, we'll, we can try to come there again next month to read it. Possibly, if we could have the uh, chance to, to meet and that your guys don't have a problem with being recorded. I mean, we, well, I mean, this call right now being recorded? It, but it, no, we don't have a problem with it. I mean, people have security cameras everywhere. I mean, just like this call we're having now is being recorded, so it's no problem. Right? And there would be no I, liability. Sir, did you hear what I said? Mm -hmm. uh, I'm recording this phone call now. Is that okay? What, Tampa Electric? Yeah, you know, when you call in the call center, they record all every phone call you make. Well, I'm calling a cell phone, I think. Is this correct? No, sir. No, sir. This is a Tampa Electric number. Well, it doesn't inform it doesn't inform you when you call it that it's being monitored. No, it doesn't inform you. So no, it would not, not be uh, it would not be uh, acceptable. Okay. My name is Kyara. How may I help you? Yes, Kyara. My name is Levi. How are you today? Wonderful. Thank you, Levi. How are you? Um, I have a question about my bill. came in on Saturday. It is $150. Um, we've never had a bill this high. have been here for 12 years. You got any information about why that's gone up? So much. Uh, 
I'll be more than happy to take a look at your billing. We won't know what, why, because we don't know what appliances are being used, but I'm making sure that this is a actual read and not an estimated read. Well, it's an estimate. It says it right there on the bill. says on the bill, ma'am, current reading, 2.533, estimated. Right, I see that. But that's what I needed to research and determine. So it's not based on the actual consumption. May I place you on hold? I'm sorry for the wait. Thank you for your patience. Now, are you currently at the home? Uh, yes. Is it... Possible for you to provide me a meter read? To get a more accurate reading? No, I said, are you able to provide me to th today's meter read from the meter? And I asked you, is that to get a more accurate reading? Is that the purpose oh, of it? Oh, that would give me what's right. No, I'm sorry. I thought that's what you asked me what I was asking. So I'm asking to give me that read so I can see what it is as of right now. Alright, here I am. And the meter says 01212. Is that what I'm looking for? There there's a there's a what, what is um Go through another uh, set of numbers here. I don't right. see it doing anything. It's just staying zero, one, two, one, two. <laughs> yeah. It's a non transmissible meter right. so yeah it's not doing anything else it's just a zero one two one two okay thank you so much no problem one or anything but I'm placing this information that the, basically the bill was estimated and I'm providing them with this current well today's read for the meter and requesting um, for the billing to be adjusted oh so, all right so what should I expect from this point on to um, once they um, adjust the billing revised the billing um, well, if it's something going on, well, if it doesn't match with what your consumption, if it's off, they're going to do the adjustments. Uh-huh. All right. Cool. And then you'll get that. Uh, Is that something Revised that, bill. Oh, all right. So there'll be a revised bill. So they'll probably, if there's an adjustment, they, they, they give you credit or something. Right. If it's an adjustment, they'll revise the billing. All right. I see. To correct that. So it's just a matter of wait, waiting right now. Yes. Good afternoon. How are y'all doing? Doing fine, sir. How are you today? I'm fine. We need to get a read on the meter this month. A read on the meter? Yeah, read on the meter. That meter that we put in there doesn't give us the read that we need. It doesn't transmit like you requested. And and when they told you we needed to put this meter in there, 
we need to come, you were told that we need to come and read the meter every month to get in and read the meter. That's, that's what you were told. I told you that myself because I put that meter in there. You and your camera, are you going to let me read the meter? I'm just here to read the meter. That's all I need to do. Well, we haven't made a decision on that. Tell him that, that somebody came with a gun. Somebody had come with a gun. And I'm going to call the customer service. Um, you know, talk to them. Tell them somebody came and read the meter with the gun, but they didn't They didn't read it correctly. Yeah, so somebody um, come and read the meter with the gun. And they didn't read that correctly. And they overcharged us. They're not reading the meter because you haven't let us in. You haven't let me in to read the meter. We have a dog in the Okay, that's fine. Well, we were, we were told that you guys could read it remotely. We can't read it remotely. And that's what you've been doing. No, sir. Then you misunderstood. The meter that we wanted to put in there, we would be able to read that remotely. You didn't want that meter because you didn't want it transmitting. Um, and and so we gave you an option to take the meter that we put in there, which is not a transmitting meter. We have to come and physically read it. So how are you reading the, the, old, reading the old meter from before that you took out from us? That meter was able to be read with this machine out here on the street. The new meter that we wanted to put in there would not be able to read, be read like that. They explained that to you guys from the call center, and I even explained it to you when I put that meter in there. The meter that was in there before was a uh, automated meter reading system. You could pick up the read with this driving down the street. You didn't have to go in the yard. That system went away. The new meter we wanted to put in is what they call smart meter. And you guys declined that. You didn't want the smart meter. You would be able to read that meter from uh, remotely from the office. Y'all didn't want it put the meters in there, in there that is not transmitting, which was the option that they gave you, and you guys agreed. Put that meter in there, come in and read it every month. We've not been in there to read that meter yet since we put it in there. I haven't. Well, we weren't told that you were going to have to come in there every month. Yes, sir. Wait a minute. I told you myself that we were going to have to come in and read the meter every month. Sir, the day that I spoke to you, you said that you'd have to go in there that day. And then you said you'd have to pull out the other meter pull at the out other. the other one because there was And that's meter. what we agreed to. Yes, that is. But we never agreed to say, hey, somebody's going to come every every month. And I talked to your boss, and we've spoke I, I about... Noticed, um, I know that several people have explained to you that we have to come in and read that meter. We have no other way to get a read off that meter. And if we're not reading it, they're estimating it. So All right, so you're telling me right now that if I let you read the meter today that you won't be estimating it? No, we will get an actual read off when we go in and actually lay eyes on the meter, get a read off And of you'll it. be able to tell me what that reading is? I sure will. All right, well, you would you please come and tell me what it is? We have to. And I'm not agreeing to this. But I am doing this as an investigation to see how it works. So okay. come on over. Are you saying that if I don't let you in the yard today that you're going to have the power cut off? I, I'm not telling you that because I don't know what they've decided to do on that part. I have no idea. All I know is that since we put that meter in here and it's been several months now, we have not been able to get in and get a physical read off of it, which is what we have to do to it. Make sure Rebel's secure. Yeah. 
I don't have any liability, like I said. If any of y'all get bit. Okay, well. Um, this is just you what I me... told your boss that, that that's the concern that if, if something happens, Sir, my dog jumps out of a in. window or something. We knock I don't have a liability. We knock on the door. I don't agree to any of this. That's all I can say. But well, I'd like gonna, to know. If you're going to have electricity, you got to have one of the other meters. There's two choices this one or the, or the smart meter. You don't want the smart meter. This is the one that doesn't transmit. We're not. All we're trying to do is register your use. Re well, there's actually more choices usage. than two, pal. What are the other choices? There's no solar other generator. Uh, you can come you up can, with some you, other. You know what? You can run off a generator and go completely off the grid. You can't put a solar unit on this house and go completely off the grid. Why? It's just you can't. Regulations. Whatever it isn't. It's the it, land of the free, right? I don't know. Listen, you, you're talking to the person that, that loves my freedom more than anybody, okay? So you, I don't want nobody in my business, not you, not the government, not anybody, okay? But if Tico's going to provide you power, the, all they want to do is register your usage so they can send you a bill so you can pay for what you're using. That's all Tico wants, okay? So let's read the meter here. There's your meter number right there. Let me... Right there, that six digit number right there. There's your read right there. 01441 is what that's now reading. Uh huh. And what will you use? And all that we for? want to do when we come here once a month at, at the same, basically the same time of month, <clears throat> within a few days, we want to come in here and we want to look at that meter and see what it's reading. That's all we want to do. So, could I do that for you? You can certainly read the meter, but I don't know if they're going to let you tell us what it is. I, I don't know that. You would have to ask them about that. Well, isn't there a... Because a, 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 I saw one of the workers come the last time with, with some kind of a radar device or some kind of a device. This has to, no transmitting capability, sir. Well, I'm not saying it does. He might have been I'm trying to read it with a binocular, but you can't read this with a binocular. You can't see those digits. With the binoc oh, you might, if you got over there on that side of the fence in a straight shot, you might could be able to read it. But at an angle, you can't read this meter at an angle. Mm -hmm. It's just the way that... And when do those numbers change? When you use power, they change. What, you mean on a daily basis? Yeah. You're using... So I should expect to see a different number tomorrow? You sure should, yes, sir. And do they reset? Or do no, they sir. Adding? It, it does not reset. When we put this meter in here, it started on zero. So... Every t when you use electricity, those that that just get that number gets larger, and you take, for example, it's reading right now one four four one. You you can see that, mm -hmm. okay. A month from now, or even tomorrow, you come out here tomorrow and you read that. If you're using any electricity at all, you're going to see that change. So you take this old number, and you subtract it from the new number, and that gives you how much electricity you use during that period of time. Well, that makes sense. Yeah, from today, for example, for today, we take that read. Next month, 30 days from now, 29 days from now, whatever that period of time is, we take that new read, we're going to subtract that old read from the new read, and through, during that 30-day period, that's going to give you the amount of electricity that you use for that 30 days. Mm -hmm. And that's what they'll bill you for. And they'll be able to tell how much electricity we use to oh, yeah, verify it, that. And you can divide that into ever how many days, and it'll tell you how much you used per day. So we could actually do the uh, you can read it the yourself. reading ourselves, and if we overpay, then they can credit us for the following month. Yeah, Re you can read the meter yourself. You can come out here tomorrow and read it. What is it? Two o'clock now. You can come out here at two o'clock tomorrow. Twenty-four hour period. See what it's reading. You can calculate yourself what you used for that twenty-four hour period. You can do that every day if you want to, or you can do it every month if you want to. Mm. On your bill, it's to tell you the day we're supposed to come and read the meter. Oh. There's a scheduled day for this to be read, and on your bill, it's supposed to tell you that. Oh. Are you getting a physical bill? Yeah. A hard copy paper bill? Yes. Okay. It'll tell you that. And then on that day, you come out here and read the meter and see if you don't get what we got the day. Now, if and you'll... 
you will know it because we don't come in here unless you guys are here. So you'll know exactly when we came and you can read it yourself. And perhaps I could read it for you, save you the effort now that I, and I, leave I, you a sign with the, with the findings. Or I could call you and make it more efficient. You're going to need to talk to somebody higher than me than that for that. I, I'm not, I can't tell you that you can do that. Gotcha. So let me find that in here. Okay, one zero one four four one is the read. Now you must not have anything on, because another thing too, just so you know, there's these little, see those little dashes right there? Yes. There, one just went away. Mm -hmm. There's three of them, mm -hmm. and they do like this. Yeah. And the more electricity you're using, the faster it goes. If you got your air on, whatever. We don't use much electricity. You're not using much. I agree with you. You've only used 1,441 kilowatt hours since we put this in there. When was that? Three months ago? Four months ago? Mm -hmm. It was before the end of the year. Yeah. I don't remember when it was, but I know it was before the end of the year. So four months ago, you're only, you, you've only used a total of 1,441 kilowatt hours. That tells me you're not using a lot of power. And that's fine. You don't lose... You don't lose, use a lot of power, you don't pay a big bill. Well, unless it's Zico. Unless what? Well, that depends, so, you know. <clears throat> no, they're charging you for what you're using there, sir, and that's it. No, I mean, yeah, you know. Yeah. So, so I'm gonna give them a, since we got in and laid eyes on it and got a good read and everything looks good and the seal looks good, I'm gonna tell them I'm reading it at that and then they'll send you a, um, if your bill was estimated, and they overestimated it, they will adjust it. Okay? From the last time, you mean? From the last time. Oh, I see. I, honestly, each one of your bills, if it's estimated, it'll say estimated on the bill. Yeah, yeah. And, and if we've estimated it for, for three months, four months, if they've overestimated your electricity, yeah, yeah. They'll, they'll adjust the amount that, that you owe. If, they owe if, uh, if they've overcharged you, they'll either give you a credit on your bill or, or I don't know how they'll handle it but they will adjust the bill all right okay yes Brandon. so when you get a read on this new bill see if that don't jive with one zero one four four one on the read on today it'll have today's date and it'll have today's read on it okay Benny Parker Benny Parker